Welcome to your virtual tour of the Barbados Olympic Association's Olympic Museum. This unique museum is a hands-on, educational, and inspiring space with a wide collection of exhibits showcasing the history of sport in Barbados and beyond. We begin our tour at the front of the Olympic Center, where four flags are flown daily. Each flag holds its own particular significance. The first is the national flag of Barbados. The second represents the International Olympic Committee. The third is the Barbados Olympic flag. And the fourth is the Regional Caribbean Association of National Olympic Committee's flag. That organization is also known as CANOC for short. At the front of the Olympic Center, you can also find a replica of the Olympic cauldron which houses the iconic Olympic flame. Every four years, the flame is ceremoniously lit in Olympia, Greece, birthplace of the ancient Olympic Games and home of the gods. The flame then makes its way around the world via the Olympic torch relay until it reaches the new Olympic host city. At the opening ceremony, the final torch carrier lights the cauldron and it remains lit until the closing ceremony when it is extinguished to symbolize the official end of the Olympic Games. The flame in Barbados is also lit to coincide with each Olympic Games, as well as on special occasions such as during the 2016 BOA Independence Games. As we enter the Olympic Center, you will see a collection of historic Olympic Games posters dating back to when Barbados was a member of the regional West Indies Olympic team. Starting in ancient Greece in 1896, the collection portrays the modern Olympic timeline up until the 1964 Tokyo Olympics. You will notice the absence of the years 1916, 1940, and 1944 due to the world wars that were taking place during this time. The museum officially then begins from the 1968 Mexico Games after Barbados' 1966 official independence from Great Britain. Before you enter the museum, it is important to note the sculpture of the man considered to be the father of the modern Olympic movement, Pierre de Coubertin. This French historian and intellectual firmly believed in the spirit of friendly athletic competition, and it was this vision that led to what is now called the modern 1896 Olympic Games in Athens. Before this modern movement, ancient sport is said to have existed in Egypt, Central America, and Greece. Here, you can read a brief history of ancient sport, showing the development up to what we now know today as the Olympic Games. The museum also houses a collection of pins from National Olympic Committees all over the world. Our collection is separated geographically into the Americas, Europe, Oceania, Africa, and Asia. Right next to this is the official Rio 2016 Team Barbados Olympic uniform. These outfits are changed regularly to reflect the most recent Team Barbados uniforms. Before officially entering the museum, you can browse the six windows with memorabilia signifying the major games that the BOA is officially involved with. The Olympic Games, the Youth Olympic Games, the Commonwealth Games, the Commonwealth Youth Games, the Pan American Games, and the Central American and Caribbean or CAC Games. This is the first exhibit as you step inside the actual museum. The Regional Anti-Doping Organization for the Caribbean, or RADO, exhibit emphasizes the strong message of the World Anti-Doping Agency, known as WADA, that using drugs is contrary to the fundamental spirit of sport. Behind this, you can read about the history of the BOA and the BOA executive team, as well as information about sports in Barbados. This interactive exhibit is one of the most popular in the museum, especially with visiting children. These cubes each have the faces of outstanding athletes who have represented Barbados in past Olympic Games, including Akela Jones and Obadeli Thompson. Barbados' first Olympic medalist was Jim Wedderburn, who won bronze at the 1960 Rome Olympics as part of the West Indies relay team. You can see Jim's Olympic medal proudly displayed here in the museum. 
Moving through the museum, there are more windows for you to open, containing original Barbadian Olympic Games memorabilia. On the wall underneath, the historical timeline charts Barbados' Olympic participation as an independent nation from Mexico in 1968 right up until the present day. You can also read stories about the Barbadian-born athletes who participated in the Games prior to this, but as part of the collective West Indian team. The theater gives visitors a chance to get to know some of Barbados' Olympic heroes. You can also watch sporting video clips and inspirational footage from past Olympic Games. At our next stop, you can read all about the history of the Pan American Games. Here, you will see the names of all the Barbadian silver and bronze medalists. Could you be Barbados' first Pan Am Games gold medalist? The Commonwealth Games History Wall gives you a great snapshot of the development of the Commonwealth Games. It also highlights our Barbadian Commonwealth Games medalists. The Central American and Caribbean or CAC Games exhibit shows the names of each of our CAC medalists on three pillars. Here is the newest addition to the museum. Take a look at memorabilia from various games throughout history, including photos of significant sporting moments, souvenir medals, badges, and commemorative plates. Further along, you'll see all the iconic games mascots, as well as flags and official games clothing. As you move towards the exit, you'll also notice an impressive collection of pins from around the world. You will also see this artistic piece which signifies the coming together of sport and the arts. This piece is meant to embody the true nature of the games, a celebration of culture, art, and sport. It serves as a reminder of the original game's philosophy as you complete your tour. Thank you for joining us on our virtual tour of the Barbados Olympic Museum. We invite you to take a guided tour of the museum in person. Schools, community groups, and individuals can come and take this step back in time simply by calling the BOA on 429-1998. That's 429-1998. Nine, eight.